it's time for my final thought. Yesterday, a wife lost a husband and a daughter. Three other daughters lost a father and a sister. The sports world lost an icon. Members of that world lost someone they themselves view as a role model, a brother. I personally lost a man I looked at as mine, put here only for me to watch in awe and admiration, to draw inspiration from when I'm feeling low. The incredible thing, millions of others felt the exact same thing. Philadelphia-born, internationally raised Kobe Bryant always seemed like a man apart, which spoke to me. He seemed quiet. There was a stillness to him, a purposeful stillness. When you saw video of him or just pictures of him just being, it seemed like his mind was working, like he was turning over a problem that only he could see. Highly intelligent, fluent in multiple foreign languages. When he would come home in the summers, taking all that to the blacktops of Philly, they must have looked at him like he had three heads. And I identify with that too, that look. But he made them accept him by being undeniable. And he became undeniable through sweat equity, by having a work ethic unrivaled by even the world's other greatest athletes. A work ethic that saw him get drafted into the league right out of high school. A work ethic that saw him become an all-star in his second year and then 17 more times out of a possible 20. An ethic that saw him win five championships and put him in the argument as one of the best players in NBA history. It was an ethic that I got to see up close in the 2001 All-Star Game when they came to D.C. My parents got tickets to the team practice, but I just wanted to see my Kobe. I couldn't tell you what happened during that practice, but I can tell you what happened after. While the rest of the team left to enjoy D.C. as only those with money can, Kobe stayed in the gym with Gary Payton, taking lessons in defense and positioning from one of the greatest to ever do it. He was already an all-star at the height of his fame, but he took time that was set aside for fun to sharpen his steel. As much as the on-court Kobe spoke to me, it was the off-the-court Kobe that I found the most inspiring. He seemed to easily leave his own playing days behind, turning his attention to the world of film and looking to help grow the WNBA. He poured his drive into his family, becoming a picture of what we imagine a father to be. And it was not even a month ago that we all got to see the love he had inside of him, the pride he took in being a daddy. And I'm grateful this video of Kobe loving his daughter and passing on his wisdom exists. He had issues, family, legal, feuds with fellow players and the media, and he endured them all right out front for all the public to see, a public that at times seemed to want nothing more than to watch him fail. But that work ethic, that single-minded determination carried him through things that would have broken most others and saw him take his playing career to new heights. Kobe Bryant was my favorite. He was an outsider who became the ultimate insider through sheer dedication and will. I often use him as motivation when I'm feeling directionless. And you know what? I don't have to stop. His legacy is forever. One more thing, I'd be remiss not to say those other families grieving as well, hold them in your thoughts.